I was overwhelmed by the uh, spectacular success of the first Harare form for Africa. It was a dream come true. As I said, I had an imagination about Zimbabwe since I was a teenager girl. The form was a great success because it was organized in the spirit of mutual civilizational learning. On the Zimbabwe side, we have four scholars. This guy, his name is Archford. He visited my home county last year in Jimin. He saw not only the lush lands, green, blue, sky, whatever. He is through first time through my introduction, the two mountain theory. And you imagine, it was somebody like him who came to Harare Forum to speak about his learning of the two mountain theory. And also he was able to relate the whole learning in Jinyi to Zimbabwe's national plan about development, about how Zimbabwe can also develop and also keep environmental protection going. And it's those people who can tell the ordinary people's story that resonates with the ordinary people. Throughout all my career academic studies, I've always been concerned about uneven global order and about the importance of global South countries to rise up to build a more fair, just, equal international order. So my belief is, if you look at long history, those countries that has been colonized has been the subject of Western imperialism, uh, colonialism. They are going to be raised up. Despite all kinds of troubles or disruptions or sabotages even, the people of the Global South are going to work together. And in this context, the China-Africa collaboration is going to be not only a pillar, but it's going to be set an example for the rest of the Global South or for the North-South collaboration. I always say another world is just under your feet. It's how you build it. And I think the new Global Village is already born in the shells of the old village. <laughs>